we're going to be returning to little computer people today. And oh, we can't see that on the stream yet. Bear with me a second. I'll make sure that we can see what that is. There we go. That should do it. Yeah, that's looking good. Let me know how we're looking and sounding this stream. Um, the, on the number side of things, I think we're doing okay. So that's encouraging. Let's just check in on chat. Um, I can see that we have um, Agile in chat. Agile, welcome. Um, I hope you're well. We're going to be playing some more Little Computer People. So if you didn't join us for the last stream of Little Computer People, um, we uh, created a new house and a little computer person called Ronald moved in and uh, we started interacting we had we had quite a nice time um, and I need to flip over my disk to return so the thing is uh, Ronald does notice the passage of time to some extent and we haven't played for ex exactly a month actually it's been a month today um, so, let's see, I don't really sure, I'm pretty sure this is a fr family friendly game, so I don't think there'll be any drastic consequences to us not having supplied Ronald with food or water for a month. Um, but, I, I, this game is kind of ob oblique enough that uh, we're open to surprises, so let's let's see what we find. So today's day, month, it's the third month, it's the second day of that month, and the year is uh, 2022, but the game's going to think it's 1922. And we're Cat Sequences, the researcher. I'm going to turn my sound up a little bit so I can hear the, the ambient noise a bit better. Hi Ronald! So, we can, as before, we can, oh, when the game's ready, I don't think it's ready yet. When the game is ready, we can start typing messages and requests to Ronald. Um, I'm going to say hello to him because it's been a long time. I think he's he's got plenty of food. Let's make sure he's got some water. There's a special command. To, there we go to water up. Control W. Oh, he's looking immediately green. Green means ill. Um, by the way, if you, if you haven't seen our last uh, our last visit uh, to Ronald's house, he um, he does tend to get poorly rather quickly, um, which is is a shame. Right, I should. Ah, oh, he's going to get some water straight away. That's great. I'm going to say. I mean, I don't know if this will interrupt him. It might do. I'm going to say hello to Ronald first of all. Um, Oh, um, I don't know whether he's ignoring me or um, he needs to complete this action before he can um, respond. Oh, hi Ronald. Yeah, oh, that's quite a frowny face. Um, yeah, you go get some more water. I suspect he might be like this for a while as it's been, uh, been a month. He might need some food and water. Uh, to pep himself up a bit. Um, let's get some food for the dog as well, because the dog's probably going to be hungry. There we go. Unfortunately, Ronald will have to get up to uh, to get that. Sorry, Ronald. Oh, he just looked at me disapprovingly. Okay, so I'm scanning the environment. I don't think anything's um, changed, really. I don't think... Ronald's bought anything. I don't think he's had to pawn anything from for cash. I think he's probably still on a solid footing for employment. Um, he seems to do work on the computer mostly. Uh, but that's that's a sign of the times, really, isn't it? For 1922, we're all working from home. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll let, I'll let Ronald uh, pursue this. Uh, 
we'll see how we get on. Okay, hopefully Ross will go back to his food now. Is he? No, I don't think he is. Um, if he doesn't, uh, if he doesn't prompt us for, so if we don't prompt him to write us a letter, then I don't know if he will tell us how he's feeling. So I think I'm going to have to write to him. See what's going on for Ronald. So I'm thinking we're just. I've got another game lined up for this stream. So my plan was to just check in on Ronald, see see how he is, see what uh, what surprises, if any, the game might have for us um, after this period of time, and then we'll switch to a different game. One I'm quite intrigued by and keen to share with you. Oh, that's the mystery door. We nobody knows what little computer people do behind that particular door. We're told in the manual. You listen to some music. Oh, I think this is different music to last time. That's interesting. Yeah, I think I think Ronald's into the new wave since uh, since last we visited. Interesting. Oh, oh, there you go. So he's had some food and drink. His complexion's improved. I mean, hopefully he's going to write us a letter soon. Hi. Um. Please write me, Ronald. Ronald? Oh no, I spelt right wrong. He's probably not going to pick up on that. Please. Oh no. Oh, my typing and this spongy, the spongy key response. Oh, have I? Uh, let's give him a little uh, uh, physical encouragement. Here we go. While that's happening. Please. Oh no, I've lost me. Sadly, I've lost my uh, cursor input there, so yeah. Give that a sec. Beautiful. Okay, can I type again? No, no. Okay, might have to wait a minute for that to come back. Mm hmm. What? Uh, okay. Can I can I type again now? No, I still can't. Okay, that's a shame. I think we might play a game with Ronald as well while we while we're checking in. But I would like um, to know in more detail how he's feeling at the moment. As, you know, as part of our researchers. Come on. Yeah, no, I'm typing away and nothing's happening. Just chilling, just chilling around. Um, let's make sure you've got some food. Is that F? Yeah. Make sure you've got four food, but you seem to be a bit worried if you don't have full you have to full capacity um, in your larder, so make sure we do that. 
Okay, he's he's chilling hard at the moment. Um, while you're doing that, Roland, I'm just going to check on how the stream looks. Um, it looks okay. It looks okay, friends. That's good to. That's good to know. Right, R Ronald, what's going on? I can't type. You're not. Oh my goodness! Come on. What's happening? We. Well. Huh? I'm gonna fill some more up. This is the one thing I can do. There you go, look. That's probably almost as full as it can get. If not as full as it can get. That's gonna perk you up, surely. Hmm, I think if you see can go and get the food. I did hear the doorbell ring. Hmm. Ronald? Okay. Oh, just just took his time. So I don't know what's going on with the Ah, here we go. Um maybe I need to hit return. Maybe now I can type again. Yes, okay. Somehow it kind of got disconnected from the uh please write me Ronald. I mean it'd be funny if you did just type out the word Ronald, that would be quite amusing. But hopefully you understand what this means, especially as I've gone to the uh, the extent of using uh, an American English idiom. At least extend me that courtesy, Ronald. Does that look a snub? Let's go back in the cupboard. Is this charades? I'm not, I'm not getting it. Is it something to do with doors? Is it a play? Is it a French farce? Is it Molière? Did Molière write farces? I don't know. How do you expect me to know Ronald? Does it, are you testing the hinges out? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't hit return, apparently. Let's try again, please. Maybe he doesn't want to talk. Please me, please me, please, please me. Please write me a letter. This is more explicit. Maybe. Hey! Cool. I think uh, my phrasing was incorrect. Thursday. It's not Thursday. March the 2nd. Yeah, it's March 2nd. It's not 1922. Dear Cat Sequences. Hi, Ronald. It gets lonely when you don't rumple my stilt skin, my hair, any more. Oh dear. People say I'm a keyboard freak. Okay, 
Can you tell me about your keyboard skills? A good typist. But a bit slow. Oh, you're getting better all the time, Rold. It's, it's all practice. Love. Okay. Well, it sounds like Rold doesn't have any pressing concerns at the moment. Um, other than in need of some, some physical affection. Okay. Um, I think I might need to give the letter a minute to scroll off and then I can ask if Ron wants to play a game. I will do that. Can I? Oh, okay. Um, would you, spongy typing? Would you like to play a? Oh, a game? A game? Hang on, are you leaving the household? Oh, you're building a fire. That's good. That'd be nice and cozy. Um, towards the end of our last uh, stream. We, when we first met Ronald. Oh! <gasps> you understood my question, even though I didn't hit return. Brilliant. Um, Ronald um, seemed rather dissatisfied and was heard driving away from the building multiple times, made mysterious phone calls, uh, did mysterious things on the computer. So we weren't quite sure what was going on at that point. But we kind of turned it around a little bit, I think, with a with a uh, game of cards. Um, and there's just one game we didn't play from last time that is possible, and that's poker. So I'm going to attempt to play poker with Ronald and see how that goes. I'm I have been shown how to play poker. I don't I don't remember much about it. It was a decade ago. Oh no, he's feeling green even as we're we're going. Do you need to hydrate regularly, Ronald? That's the cute little knocking on the screen. Um, when he, <laughs> when I need to give him some input. Okay. Oh no, I'm not in the right window. Here we go. I'm in the right window. I'd like to play poker. Or I'd like to try anyway. So before, um. I was pleasantly surprised by, um, I think it was, it was Card War we played last time, wasn't it? I was pleasantly surprised by how um, uh, intuitive um, and clear the uh, interface was for that, that mini game within the game. Uh, so I'm hoping poker, even though it's a more complex game, will be equally as intuitive to get hold of. Um, the There are some a small set of instructions within the game's manual about playing poker but it doesn't remind me what good hands are in poker I'm, I might have to le relearn that by uh, by trial and error okay and you up to play um, okay let's ante okay so I should yes yeah, so the bottom row will be my hand which I can see obviously and uh, um, wow so we had like 200 chips and we only, only cost one to okay um, do you feel lucky today let's see so do I think these disconnected things and the only good thing I can see there are two kings right as far as I'm aware so do should I bet? Let's bet. I don't know if that's a good. Don't know if that's a good thing. Did you? Did you? Did you feel my bet there? Oh, I keep pressing it, and the number goes up. I understand. Um, so should I give a, a an air of false confidence, or sorry, a false air of confidence? Um, I I will. I'll try it. So, 
uh, yes, and then enter with B there. Okay, I'll see you a bet. Okay. Do you want any cards? Um, yeah. Is that not... I'm pressing A, is that not what we do? Hmm. Uh... Could you make a bit of a... Pressing... Oh! Okay. So to press numbers first to say what cards I want to discard. That one, number one, number two, number four, and then draw, right? Cool. Uh, was that any better? Not that I know of. Okay. So, can I pass this time? Okay. I'll call. Oh, okay. That means it's the end of the... Whoa! Was that good? How was that good? Okay. <laughs> okay, so then we start another hand. So, uh, la last time we played Anagrams and Card War. And as far as I could tell, um, playing Anagrams didn't have any overt effect on Ronald's mood, but he did feel considerably worse whilst losing at Card War, so I suspect he might have a similar um, opinion about losing at poker. Bear in mind I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm hoping he will win. Anyway, I think it's an interesting mechanic to put in the game that you can play a mini game, but if you want a certain uh, effect for a character within the greater game, you might have to lose deliberately lose the mini game, which I find interesting. Um, I've got an ace and a king, different suits. Is that good? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna bet. Just gonna keep betting. Um, so what more chips than I started off with? So I might as well go down down to um, what I started with, and then enter with B. What is if you can hear the uh, the sound of other little computer people? Um, they're just sort of walking around outside my computer. They're um, they're having a night out. They're having a good time. Um, do I want any cards? Probably. Uh, shall I get rid of the eight and the seven, or just the eight? Maybe just the eight. So that'd be three for me. Sure, let's try that. See if we get anything. No, I don't know if that. Oh, deal takes four. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that helped. I might uh, just keep. I've got loads of chips. Come on, let's just keep whacking money out there. Let's get up to. Let's get the pot up to thirty. Um, I feel unlucky. I fall. Oh, Ronald. Now to up to play. I don't know. Ronald's expressions. Um, I don't know if it has changed actually. So say I thought it might have. He might be looking marginally happier than he was earlier. I mean, of course, me and Ronald should probably talk about how it's just a game. It doesn't really matter whether we win or lose, but um, I don't think we can. We have that level of nuance, unfortunately. So. Do I feel lucky today? I'm glad you didn't call me a punk. Um, uh, I will. Yes, I will certainly bet, bet some monies, uh, some virtual. I hope they're virtual monies. I hope this isn't microtransactions. Goodness me, the Apple II was rife with microtransactions. Um, okay, and then let's. And uh, I think I'll change out my seven and my jack. But I think having 
Oh, some more jack of spades is what I mean. But I think having the oh no, they're not the same. Sorry, I thought the red faced cards were all hearts, but they're not. One's a diamond, isn't it? Okay, so I might get rid of the diamond as well. Yeah, sure. So let's get rid of that one, that one, that one, and that one. I quite like this interface. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, in lieu of like point and click technology, I think it's it's pretty pretty streamlined. Ooh, King of Hearts. That's pretty good. Right, I'm going to keep going on this one for a bit longer uh, and see what happens. I've got got loads of money. Oh, one's only down to 164. Um, let's get it. Yeah, I get my my personal resources down to 190 chips. So, yep, yeah, we're happy with that. Okay, runs feeling strong. That's good. And oh, you won. I don't understand it, but that's good. You got. Yeah, I don't know. I can't see a pattern in there. Maybe is it the highest card wins? I can't remember. I can't remember. But I'm glad you won, Ronald. Congratulations. Let's have another go. If you're watching this in in anguish at my lack of ability. Or particular care for <laughs> poker, I do apologise. Um, I'm mainly playing it to be social. Let's bet some betting. Let's get down to 180 in my thing and then enter that. Okay, great. Do I have any cards? What have I got? Um, quite a mix, really. Should I get rid of everything apart from the Queen? Yeah, sure. Um, so that would be one, two, three, four. Draw. Uh, oh, another queen. That makes a pair. I think pairs are good, aren't they? Pretty sure pairs are good. Do you want to make a bet? Of course, I want to make a bet. This is this is the pokers. We make the bets in the pokers. I wonder. If Ronald has a tell, anybody who's watching along, would you mind uh, watching very carefully um, and see if you can work out if he's bluffing? That'd be really helpful. Thank you. If you could let me know, maybe a, an eye twitch or a um, maybe he sticks his tongue out a little bit. I don't know. Oh, okay. We're back to where we started. Not folded. Okay, um, I suspect this is one that could could go on for some time. So I'm thinking, in the interests of uh, risking things and hopefully having a, a beneficial outcome, I will bet lots. That's what I'm thinking. I will bet lots of the money. So I'm going to keep my finger pressed firmly on A. Oh, that's as much as I can bet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I've got lots of spades, haven't I? But I also have a king. I'm going to choose to discard the three of spades and the four of spades and see what I get. Six of diamonds. Ooh, waste of hearts. Well, I've got some high value cards, but they're not in the same suit. Which is not necessarily helpful. Right, hammering that A button until I get like 20 down and then it'll stop me. I'm going to enter. I think, uh, uh, you see, I, I'm worried that if I go in too heavy, then Ronald will think I know what I'm doing. He hasn't tweaked, he hasn't tweaked that my tell is that 
uh, I don't know what I'm doing, and I just bet loads of money because I'm hoping I'll lose secretly. <sighs> oh. Be so bad at poker in real life. Well, actually, I have got a really strong hand in the fact that I've got two aces already. I think that's pretty good. Um, so I think I am lucky. Okay. So now, what are we doing? I change out the eight of spades. The eight of spades. Um, there we go. Uh, the ten of clubs. Not deal takes four. Okay. Yeah, of course I want to bet. I'm going. I'm all in. I can't go all in, but you know, metaphorically all in rather than actually all in. Okay. Oh, Ronald's feeling confident. I'll raise ten. Okay. Uh, so uh, you think I'm bluffing? Oh, I'd like to see what you got. You want to do? Uh, sure, let's raise it. Um, this is fun. Okay, enter. Okay, I see you bet. Whoa, the pot's massive. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, Ronald, you had. Pair of eights. Oh, Ronald, I am. Um, I'm really. <laughs> I'm really not trying very hard to win. Um, okay, we'll try one more. We'll try one more round. Um, and then I'll make sure you get some food and some water. Because I think you're in need. And uh, distracting you with poker is probably not helping. Um, I mean, we could have had some chips and dip, couldn't we, while we were playing? Uh, okay, bet, 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 bet. Got two fours. Is that is that a good is that a good thing? Okay, I'll see you bet. Okay, and then let's get rid of anything that's not a four. Maybe keep the jack. Okay, I'll keep the jack. Uh, because that's a high value card. Sure, I don't think that was of any particular benefit. Does it work if you've got a, a run of numbers in different suits? Maybe. Oh, what happened? Did the did the dog do a poo or something? What was that about? You'll have to go back and watch the VT to see what what happened there. Oh, Ronald. Okay, this isn't going well. <laughs> betting betting big is bad. Uh, in terms of uh, encouraging Ronald to keep playing. Right, right now we need to take care of your nutrition. But thank you very much. I enjoy playing poker with you. I think if I would like you to win next time, I might employ a different strategy. Um, let's follow up on something from uh, from last time. So, have you tore it? The the. I'll learn to go to slow with this in the face. The dog, any tricks? Any. Oh, I seem to have lost the ability to type. Or do anything, in fact. Okay, what's that about? Have you taught the dog any? Ronald. Oh, oh, he needs to use the water closet. That's fair enough. Um, have you taught the dog any? Yeah, no, I can't hit return or type, which is interesting. 
Oh, D appeared. Does that mean I can? Oh, okay. It's, it's live again. That was interesting. You taught the dog any tricks? Another log on the fire. Yeah. Um, please drink some water. I'm going to do the same actually while while I'm doing that. Oops, sorry, I forgot to unmute myself. I was um, I was noting that the um, the sound keeps happening, and they paused one time as well. Um, I don't think that was because of me, because it, well, I was just on the uh, the right window for the the game. Um, so that sound keeps happening, and I couldn't see anything obvious there. Okay, I'm just gonna get. Please eat some. Get around to eat some food if possible. This is gonna, yeah, this is not gonna talk to me, so. I think it's kind of on a neutral expression, which is okay, I suppose. Oh no, oh no, it's, I think it's. I did it again! Is it the. Does the is the clock making that sound as the time changes? I think that's the only thing I observed that changed. Is it because it's bedtime? Because we didn't have a bedtime last week, the time of plays. Alright. I'll let Ronald eat and then it's coming up to either noon noon or midnight, isn't it? I mean, either time's good for a nap, really, but... Yeah, I just wonder if there's an added significance to that. That periodic sound. Hmm. Okay, now it's heading on for one. Um. Okay. Ronald. Are you tired? Okay. Brush your teeth after eating. What's that move? Okay. 
Yeah. Uh-huh. What does it mean? Thank you for talking to me. Okay, it made the sound again, and the clock did. Oh, that's the minute hand appeared that time. Oh, yes, yeah, so when the minute hand moves by like five minutes. I'm pretty sure I didn't make that sound before. Let's go to bed, Ronald. Let's see if it works this time. I'll wait till the music's finished. That's more like the music we had last time. Oh, he said yes! Amazing! So maybe you have to. Maybe the chimes of the clock let you know that it's night time. And that's the time that Ronald will agree to go to bed? Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Good night, Ronald. That's a great place to leave you. Okay, I'm going to say good night, Ronald. And we're going to go to our loading screen. Where's our loading screen? There it is. Oh! Okay, Ronald, you got up. Okay, pretend you didn't see that, folks. Ronald's definitely still asleep. He's having a sound night's sleep. He wasn't just in bed for about <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that was that. <laughs> it's really weird that sound. You probably just heard it in the background. Um. I swear Ronald froze in place with his leg cocked, made that sound, and then carried on walking. I don't know what to think. Um, I guess I guess I could have asked him if he had gas. Um, that would be amazing. Maybe we'll do that next time. Okay, um, while I'll put some... Hang on, let me put some atmospheric music on in the background for a second while I fiddle around and get our next game ready. We should only take a moment. Oh, I just realised we could have had the tag Texas Hold'em for when we were playing little computer people. That would have been great. Um, although somebody will probably tell me we weren't actually playing Texas Hold'em. That's fine. 